Hi guys, welcome to Pro SEO Tools. In this tutorial, we will take a look at 7 image SEO optimization techniques to improve user experience and search rankings. You may also get the Ultimate SEM Rush Playbook, which is a comprehensive guide on utilizing SEM Rush for SEO, competitive analysis, and content marketing. Download it now for free. The link in the description box below. With that said, let us begin. Images are essential for making websites more engaging to visitors. You probably spend a lot of time choosing the correct image to complement your blog posts, product pages, and other content. Do you, on the other hand, devote the same amount of work to optimizing your images for search engines? The most common image SEO suggestion you'll find on the internet is to fill up your alt text. That is all there is to it. There doesn't appear to be anything else to it. I wish it could be that simple. If your website is heavily reliant on visual information, you should devote some time to optimizing the images on it. It will not only help you acquire more organic traffic, but it will also give your users a better experience. Improving your images overall SEO can lead to a speedier website, a better user experience, and even the transformation of your content from good to amazing. I'll reveal 7 image SEO tips in this video to assist you to acquire more organic traffic. 1. Give your images descriptive file names. One could argue that using descriptive file names for images is no longer necessary due to developments in Google's machine learning capabilities. That's an excellent point. Just take a look at Google's Cloud Vision API, a machine learning tool for picture recognition. To see how accurate Google is at predicting most photos, take a few random images from the web, remove the descriptive text from the file names, and upload them. But here's the thing, that's the key. The majority of images, although not all of them, the Cloud Vision API, for example, can detect that the image is of a lion with 99% accuracy. However, when I uploaded a stock image depicting startup teamwork, the results were mixed. Please don't get me wrong. Google's Cloud Vision API is a highly efficient tool that demonstrates how far Google has come in the last decade in this area. However, it is not without flaws. As a result, it's up to us to do everything we can to ensure that the images we post are understood by search engines. Using descriptive file names for your images is one method to do this. Two. Select the most appropriate file format. On both desktop and mobile, page load time is an important SEO factor, and graphics are frequently the most time-consuming part of a page load time. Google claims that images are often the largest contributor to overall page size, which can make pages slow and expensive to load. When it comes to image optimization for speed, you want to use a format that gives the best compression while sacrificing the least amount of quality. The most common image file types on the internet are JPEG and PNG. Other file formats, such as GIF and, more recently, WebP, are also available, but they are not as extensively used as the first two. Because the JPEG and PNG image formats use different compression techniques, the file sizes of these two formats might vary significantly. The JPEG image is the winner, as you can see here. Although both of these images have been reduced, the JPEG file size is significantly less. Furthermore, there isn't much of a difference in image quality between these two. Does this imply that JPEG should be our default image file format? That's not the case. JPEGs are fantastic for photos, while PNGs are better for images with text, line drawings, and other elements. The most strong evidence of this is this graphic from Digital Inspiration. You can save your graphics in PNG or JPEG files if you use an online design tool like Canva. Just keep in mind, when it comes to images, JPEG is the way to go. Use PNG for images with text. Use free tools online to convert an image from one format to another. 3. Resize your images. The time it takes for a page to load is an essential SEO factor. Images have a big influence on how quickly or slowly a web page loads. Resizing images to your site's dimensions can assist enhance site performance in the following ways. Let's say your content area's maximum width is 700 pixels and you're uploading a 2000 pixels large image. The image will be resized by the browser to fit on the screen. The browser, on the other hand, must still load the complete image size. This might have a significant impact on the speed of your website. As a result, when adding images, it's advisable to make sure they're never bigger than your site's dimensions. The solution is to adjust your photos to fit the dimensions of your website. This is how you can go about doing it. Using the Chrome browser, determine the width of the content area on your website. Select Inspect from the context menu when you right-click anywhere within your content area. Move your cursor within the code in the new window that appears on the side of your browser until the content area is highlighted. Look at the tooltip at the top of the highlighted content section. The width is the first number. 
to resize your images, use the free Smart Resize tool. You may also use this application to bulk upload your Amas while keeping the file names the same. Only the width matters, so bulk upload your photos, choose the max width option, specify your content width, and begin scaling. 4. Include alternative text to images. To explain an image, alt text, often known as alt attributes, is utilized. Adding alt text to images enhances online accessibility and helps browsers interpret your site's graphics. If there is a problem loading the images, the browser will show alt text. Adding alt text to images is still a significant on-page SEO component, despite developments in Google's ability to comprehend images. Here's how to compose an excellent alt text. According to Google, when choosing alt text, focus on creating useful, information-rich content that uses keywords appropriately and is in context of the content of the page. Avoid filling alt attributes with keywords as it results in a negative user experience and may cause your site to be seen as spam. The following samples from Google Image Best Practices can be used to compare terrible alt attributes to good alt attributes. Always try to describe the images as accurately as possible. Avoid keyword stuffing and keep your sentences short. 5. Compress your images. This is a very crucial stage in image SEO optimization. The longer it takes for a web page to load, the higher the image file size is. Because site speed is a significant ranking element, we must do all possible to improve the speed and performance of our website. Large image file sizes are one of the most common reasons for performance concerns. Fortunately, various free online tools can help you reduce the size of your image files. You may reduce the file size of photographs without sacrificing quality, regardless of the image format you use. In that vein, here's the identical image in JPEG format, but in two different file sizes. The second image is significantly smaller, but the quality of the two photographs is nearly identical. Google underlines the importance of image optimization for the web on its web developer blog. Images frequently make for the majority of a web page downloaded bytes and also take up a large amount of visible space. As a result, image optimization can often result in significant byte savings and speed gains for your website. To that purpose, Google offers the following image compressing advice. Experiment with different quality settings for your photographs for optimum results, and don't be scared to scale down the quality. The visual effects are often excellent, and the file size savings can be substantial. Now that you understand the importance of picture compression, let's look at some of the best image compression tools available to assist you in completing this work. TinyPNG, if you want to compress images in PNG format, this is the tool to use. TinyPNG reduces the file size of your PNG files by employing sophisticated lossy compression algorithms. What about JPEG files, though? TinyPNG isn't the most efficient tool for this. I recommend the next program for compressing JPEG files. ImageOptim is a must-have program for image compression if you're a Mac user. This is also the tool that Google recommends. ImageOptim is the most effective tool for compressing JPEGs, but not PNGs. TinyPNG is a superior option for compressing PNGs. Short Pixel. If you use WordPress for your website, you can get the Short Pixel WordPress plugin. You can compress 100 pictures per month with the free plan. 6. Use a Lazy Load Image Plugin. Lazy loading is a page loading strategy that delays the loading of non-essential resources images, videos, and so on. Instead, these non-essential resources are loaded only when they are required by your visitors. Google highlights the advantages of slow loading as follows. We lower initial page load time, initial page weight, and system resource utilization when we slow load graphics and video all of which improve efficiency. An example of lazy loading may be seen on Google's Web Fundamentals, which shows image lazy loading in action using the publishing platform Medium. As you can see in this post, the images load when I am near it. If you use WordPress, you may utilize the free A3 Lazy Load plugin to lazy load your images. This is the image lazy loading plugin I'm currently using on my blog. 7. Enable browser caching. Browser caching can make your site load faster by storing some of your site's larger files such as images locally in the user's web browser. When a browser loads a web page, it must download all of the web files necessary to display it properly, including HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and images. Some pages may just have a few files and be tiny in size, while others may have many files and be big. These larger files can take a long time to load, and each file sends its request to the server, slowing down the website even more. Because some of these larger files are saved in your visitors' browsers, browser caching can help. 
you should try to keep them there because it will make your site load much faster. However, because you'll be upgrading your website frequently, you won't want to keep them there indefinitely. For static content or assets that change infrequently, Google suggests a cache period of at least one week and preferably up to one year. Google discusses the significance of HTTP caching in the following way. Fetching something over the network is both slow and expensive. Large responses require many round trips between the client and server, which delays when they are available and when the browser can process them and also incurs data costs for the visitor. As a result, the ability to cache and reuse previously fetched resources is a critical aspect of optimizing for performance. Here's a handy decision tree from Google to help you figure out the best caching policy for a specific resource or combination of resources on your site. If you use WordPress, the solution is straightforward. Download WP Rocket and enable browser caching in the settings. For all of my sites, I'm utilizing WP Rocket, and I'm pleased with the results. Conclusion Google's machine learning capabilities are constantly improving. There may come a time when image SEO is no longer necessary. However, until that day comes, we must optimize the images to the best of our ability for them to stand out in search engine results. When you're uploading images to your website, keep these seven optimization techniques in mind. At the same time, keep in mind that the images you choose should improve the visitor's experience on your site by complementing the text and making it more visually appealing. To that aim, use only high-quality stock images and work on improving your design abilities so you can produce visually appealing graphics. Thanks for watching.